Columbus City Schools going to be asking voters for hundreds of millions of dollars in funding for this fall. The Columbus Board of Education now approving putting that request on the ballot last night in a five to two vote. We thank you for joining us first at four. I'm Brad Johansson. I'm Jennifer Bullock. According to the district, a $100,000 home would see an additional $267 a year in taxes if this issue were to pass. That's about a 13% increase in income tax. That money would fund $680 million in bonds in a 4.7 mil permanent improvement levy, giving the district the money it needs to build five new schools as well as additional funds for maintaining and approving additional buildings. NBC4 spoke with Columbus City School Superintendent Dr. Talisa Dixon and asked her how this would change the city if it were approved. So with this will show that we are further investing in our future and we want our students to be able to continue to compete with students, not just in the state of Ohio, but globally and nationally. And these facilities will be lasting for generations to come. If approved, the design phase of those new schools would start next year. Construction in 2024 and the first buildings open for students for the 2025-26 school year. The details of the proposal are on our website, NBC4i.com. And coming up tonight at 5, we'll hear more from CCS Superintendent Talisa Dixon and the community. And we do want to hear from you right now about this. Do you support the levy proposed by Columbus City Schools? That is our fast feedback question yes, you would vote for it or no, you would vote against it. You can vote now on NBC4i.com slash join or on the NBC4 News app and we'll have those results in the five o'clock hour. Yeah.